This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. So yeah, we started the ship last time here, trying to clear out all the monsters and find Captain Mac. Okay, this takes us down to basement two in the center part here. So far, it seems like we're just fighting enemies that we saw in Pazuzu's power so far. I don't know if we'll see any new ones in here or not. Okay, then we got a staircase going back up. Okay, I guess let's get this treasure here first. I think you want to be a little careful though in some places because you can um, fall through the floor. There will be gaps and you can actually fall to lower levels if you're not careful. I mean, in some cases, that might be what you want to do to progress. But... Quit hitting yourself, Ruben. Holy crap. Really didn't do that much damage. I'm glad he used it on the enemy instead of on us. Yeah, like I think this guy's like sitting on a hit that we can fall in. So after you beat him, you don't want to just run forward. You can jump over it though, I think. We'll see here shortly. Yeah. Uh. Out of the three heads, the goat's the first one to go, huh? <laughs> Let's just keep going this way for now. Three of these guys. Okay. One down. I was gonna say, if I get lucky, we might get them all before they attack. Nope. Can't get Ruben's attack off fast enough. Hey, there's my armor. So the shield's the last thing I get. Okay, and that increases wind resistance, and they can't put me to sleep anymore. Nice. I would imagine by the time we get the shield, we're probably going to be um, impervious to all status effects. So yeah, there was Mac, I'm pretty sure, but... Um, yeah, this is actually the way to move forward. I don't want to do that yet. Still have enemies to kill. Let's see what falling here does. Okay, this brings me to this room. Probably isn't any other um, treasure in here other than the usual cures and heals and stuff like that. Weapons. Or, well, like bombs. That's what I mean by weapons. Not new weapons, just refills. <sighs> also, for a game like this one, I kind of apologize if I don't comment as much sometimes. Like, there might be quite a bit of silence in some areas, but... That's because a lot of these battles are just kind of the same thing, so there's a lot new to say. There we go. Yeah. I 
I guess that means we're probably not going to have a boss in here. I already found my way to Captain Mac. Unless it was kind of like a thing with the Zuzu's Tower where I kind of found the ending before we'd really done everything. And yes, yeah, another level up, by the way. It's been a while since I've seen one of those shadow guys, but we have seen them. Not too many of them. Or maybe that was because I saw him when I went into the, the uh, basement of the Focus Tower, I think, when I got that treasure, which I don't even remember which one it was, but... Yeah, that could be where I remember seeing him from, I think, so... I suppose in that case, he is probably stronger than the other enemies I've faced so far in here. And it kind of looks like I'll be able to walk around the entire area of the ship on this floor here, just except for the middle part where we took to get to Captain Mac. Okay, no, I guess not. It doesn't connect. So I'll see what the other way was before I go up the stairs there. I guess I probably should have healed Fred out of battle. Kind of surprised I got the armor because I was thinking that um, Kristen and Spencer said they were going to look for the legendary armor. Unless that means that it's the shield they were looking for. I was assuming they'd give it to me. Maybe that's wrong on my part to assume that. Shouldn't be too many status effects that still land on Fred at this point. Petrification, I suppose, is still one that he could get. I guess they count on you using the bombs a lot. Grenades, I guess they are at this point. I don't know though, personally, I think a bomb sounds more powerful than a grenade. Actually, I think bombs are bigger. I'm certainly not an expert on artillery. Also, I wonder... I don't remember, so I wonder who the final companion I'm going to have will be for the final part of the game. I don't think it's Ruben. And if it was, I would think his level would be higher. Maybe it's Phoebe or Kaylee. Because after you save Captain Mac, it might be when they re rejoin you. Or it could be Tristan, but he seems kind of like a treasure hunting in it for himself type of guy. 
So if we're trying to like save the world, that's probably not exactly up his alley. Unless he thought there was treasure in it for him. I suppose that could be like a Han Solo type of a move there. The scoundrel who ends up doing the right thing to help everybody save the day. So yeah, I would assume this isn't going to go anywhere then, because, yeah. I guess we just go all the way back around. I don't think there are any more staircases down here. Oh. Kind of concentrating more on defeating the enemies. But yeah, it looks like we just have to go up and around to that staircase. sword and see how it's doing. Okay, yeah. Not enough to one-shot these guys at least yet. So we'll take the one-shot KO possibility with the Dragon Claw. And yeah, you can fall down this part again, I'm pretty sure. Let's keep looking on this side first. And if we fall down, we know that we just have to come back up because we've already done everything on the bottom floor here. Can't do any of that to Fred. Thanks for waking Ruben up. Let's go back to the top deck, I think. Yeah, so this is the one that we could have gone down right away when we entered. And this staircase should just go up to one of the other spots on the top deck that I've already been to. Let's go up it quick though to check.
I guess this will loop around to the other side. Where I could have gone to with my drag claw looking across. And another one to stop here. Yeah. So yeah, I remember there were all those staircases, and I guess it didn't really matter which one you took to get down here. Although ultimately they were all the wrong way, as far as progress goes. And I'm pretty sure those blocks on the floor that have like, look like they have cracks in them, if you step on that, you'll actually fall through. So, I'm gonna jump over that. Actually, I'll have him attack that one in case he does the one hit KO. Like that. Okay. Looks like we don't have any choice but to fall down after we get this one. But I think this is all the enemies then. I think after this, all we pretty much have left is the final dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't leave us too far from the staircase going up here, at least. There should be one right over here somewhere pretty quickly. Climbing up the masts and the rigging, I guess. Just a matter of getting back through here again. Treasure chest disappears completely, I guess. Is... isn't th that my captain cap? Haley asked us to give it to you. Are you okay? Oh, I guess she did follow right behind. Dad, I was worried about you. You look awful. Okay, but I have some bad news. The Dark King. Prophecy. Dad... Tell us about the prophecy later. Let's cure your wounds in Windia first. But... He doesn't take no. What hell's wrong with Reuben? Okay. I guess I haven't recovered from that fall off the bridge. Reuben, let's go to Windia and put you to bed. Okay, I guess that's how we get rid of him. That sounds like Christum's music. Spencer. Yep. There you are! Spencer, Phoebe's been looking for you. I met her at the inn in Windia, and now she wants to see you. We're done here. Let's go. Right. Go again, kid. I guess they didn't give me that armor. I do still have do still have Reuben in my party. Let's 
Sounds like everybody's at the end. Ruben's hurt. I'm surprised you made it here with such a bad wound. Off to bed with you. Another way of showing he's hurt is he spins around and falls down. Fred, you need to hear Max news. You're not going to like it. Alright, we got Phoebe, and she has the bow. Well, 34, so she is still less than we are. Uh, this is the one that I need to talk to to stay at the end. What can be so important? I've discovered a lost part of the prophecy. The one behind the four is darker than the night and rises amidst the land. You say to the crystals, but our real enemy is the Dark King. He's in the focus tower. Reach the tower with my ship. Stand by the steering wheel and press the A button. Dad will return to Foresta once he's feeling better. Ouch! Don't touch me! But don't worry, Ruben, I wasn't planning on touching you. And let's see what she's got for spells now. Okay, so Thunder and White, Fire Blizzard, Your Heal Life, so pretty good. And she's got 40. 20 and 10, so she has more magic than um, Fred has. Ether Shield. So she's strong against water and wind. Um, can't be put to sleep. Can't be muted. I wish she had the confusion proof. I guess I have to use that. I wonder if we can get out of the ship more easily once I go in there from here. Or if I'll need to do this every time I want to go somewhere else from there. I hope it just unlocks it as an option. And yeah, the fog has kind of cleared away. Isn't there any crew? Guess not. And it automatically sails then. Oh yeah, there's the cave at the bottom. I guess that's your only options there. Well, I'm going to head in here for a little bit today. Um, I said I was going to check and see if there were any more Mobius Crest locations. I hadn't done that yet. Um, we don't have a lot more time left today, so I'll kind of go in and start this place and see what we got going on. Quite a few battles. And... If I look it up after this and I do find there are some things we can get yet, I'll just come back out. Okay, so this is that area we were in before, where we got the treasure. Hopefully, yeah, we get treasure chests with arrows here. We don't run out for her. And yeah, you see, you could go down that staircase here, but the, the sands move against you, so you can't go up. So you couldn't get any farther over than that. That just goes around the rock there, I guess. So yeah, um, you have several different ways to go down here. 
depending on where it takes you, and you can walk slightly to the side. Yeah. And these, you can bomb them. This will let me get that treasure at least. Gorgon and Banquet, I think we've seen these. Might have been the same battle I had when I came down to get that treasure. I don't remember for sure. This is the shield? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So petrification no longer affects me now either. And defense is up to 50. I think that's everything. Yeah, so I guess whatever there is for any of those crests, it's not going to be anything that um, fills out our inventory, so. I care too much about it. <laughs> and yeah, then you got to go up here and go all the way around again to try out the other areas. Um, well, what's this one get me to? Oh, shit. There's a boss there, it looks like. If I would have stopped on that bone pile, this would have gotten me up on that ledge. So I just need to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, and that was just for that. Since when I, once I climb down here, I think I'm stuck again. Yeah, so it looks like it'll take a few trips for me to be able to get everything here. It's a little repetitive. You know exactly what you're doing, I suppose it wouldn't take as long because you could skip some of this stuff. Okay, that's just round of that. Seems like the way to go is to go all the way to the right. I think I did before, but then you just gotta be a little careful. Yeah, because now I can hook shot across up here. There we go. You guys are actually kind of weaker than some of the ones we've been facing, it seems like. So 
up for maybe the shadow guy. Well, and I guess the, chim the Chimera. Same one we've seen. Ooh, but the arrows hurt him pretty good. Alright. So yeah, do that. And... I think, um, this is a pretty good place to call it for today, though, so we'll pick up here with the battle with this guy next time, and then continue on through the tower. Doom Castle, or whatever it was called. But, uh, anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.